everyone, it's Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. Happy Thursday. It's Thursday. I forgot to put on this spray. My mom is here. Um, she's doing a lot of baking, everybody. She made me some homemade bread and a whole bunch of cookies and homemade soup. We're going to have that for dinner. Um, and she's still got a lot more bacon left to do for my the kids and for my nephew and for Ian. They put in their orders. So, um, Friday night, she was going to be on my live Friday night, but she's going to stay at my nephew's house for the night Friday night. So, I will be live Friday night and uh, live again on Sunday night with mom. So, because um, Friday she's gone to my nephew's for the night, so and that was the only night that uh, he can come and get her because he's working. I'm sweating. Lord. Um, so, Friday night... I'll be live at 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, and then I'm going to go live again on Sunday night with Mom. So if you're around, come by, say hi. So it's Friday at 8 and Sunday at 8. Anyways, I got my Ipsy Plus, which you can't get here in Canada, but I use a shipping company to get <coughs> Ipsy Plus. I pick it up at a warehouse in Mississauga. Um, I use my PayPal to pay for it. And the shipping company is called Shipsy. I have a link down below. If you go in through my link and you want to use it, um, you get a $10 credit. You can pick up yourself in Mississauga. There's another location. It's either Richmond Hill or Thornhill or both. I can't remember. And I know they said they're coming out with a new location in London, Ontario. So if you're interested in getting the Ipsy X uh, or or Ipsy Plus that you know doesn't get shipped here to Canada. That's how I get those boxes. I use a shipping company and my Ipsy Plus cost me $7.90 Canadian to have it shipped from their warehouse in New York to me here in uh, Canada, in Mississauga is where I go pick it up. So that's how much Ipsy Plus cost me, $7.90 Canadian. Anyways, I want to show you Sephora first. Let me just put this back up here. How are you? How is everybody? How's your week been? Um, I'm hoping tomorrow I want to do a video of, I don't know, maybe like uh, the new stuff that's coming out for Christmas at Sephora. Um, I might do a glossy box advent calendar video for the U.S. And I want to see if I can find spoilers for some of the Christmas boxes that look fantastic is coming out with. So if I find that... Then I'll do either one of those videos for you guys for tomorrow, either the Sephora, um, what's new, what's coming out for Christmas, because they have a lot of new deals coming out now because it's Christmas time, or um, like an advent calendar glossy box and all the Christmas special boxes. So let's see what we got in here. So I made an order with Sephora. Some came to me uh, today, actually this delivered yesterday, I believe, and the other part of the order is coming from BC, so I don't have it yet. All right, okay, I got a question for you. Do anybody use Gain laundry detergent to wash your clothes? I do, and I've been finding that if I don't, if I don't put my shirts and stuff in the dryer and I just hang them up to dry, I'm finding that they started to smell like baby puke. I swear to God, I just picked up a sweater then that obviously I didn't put in a dryer and I just hung it up to dry and it smells like baby vomit. Anybody else? Because I went to Ian the other day and I'm like, hey, can you smell this shirt? And I'm like, it smells like baby vomit, doesn't it? And he's like, yeah, I'm like, that's been happening lately when I hang up my clothes to dry instead of putting it in the, in the dryer. And that's what it's smelling like, baby puke. And I'm like, okay, this one, it, it kind of smells like Gain, but it's got like a little tiny bit of a baby vomit stench to it. So obviously I'm not going to wear that tonight. We have bowling. Um, and I picked up another sweater and that's all it smelled. So I threw it back in the hamper and I'm like, I guess I, I won't be hanging up some of my shirts to dry anymore, right? Because who wants to go around smelling like baby vomit? Anyways, two things in this order. I grabbed this. This is Beauty Blender. Um, I think it was like 60 bucks or something. But it's a great deal because, I mean, just the one blender alone is 30 bucks. So you're getting two blenders for, I think, $68 or something like that. So you get two blenders, and then you're getting a third blender for free. Um, and then two soaps, which these soaps are like... 
12 bucks each, something like that. I don't even know if these are the same size. I don't know if they're a little bit bigger or if they are the same size, but I thought that was a great deal because I try to, whenever Sephora comes out with beauty blenders on sale, if it's a good price, um, usually around Christmas time, I try to get at least three or four, and I don't care what the color is, right? At least three or four, because then that's, you're supposed to throw away your blender every three months. So now I just need one more, and I'm good for all of 2022, you know? So I'm like, great, I, I'm almost set here for 2022 for beauty blenders. I got some soaps, which is great. I love these soaps to wash my brushes in, so that was a great deal. And I also got this. This is a Sephora favorite. This is one of the new Christmas Sephora favorites they came out with. It's a swipe of lip color. And I tell you, there's one reason I wanted this. <laughs> and um, when I looked to buy it separately, it was sold out. I couldn't find it. So I'm like, okay, well, it doesn't look too bad, this little kit here. So let's see. And it's weird because I never go for a lip kit at Sephora ever. Like, this is, my, I think, the first time I've ever bought a Sephora Favorites kit that was lip products. Um, so this is what it looks like here. And let's see what we got inside of it. I've been watching um, Angels and Demons, Dan Brown's, oh, Dan Brown's A Lost Symbol. It's a new TV show. I don't know what, you know, uh, site it's on or what program or what do you call that? I don't, like if it's NBC or CBC or whatever. I don't even know if we can get it here in Canada. I've been watching on Flick Store, so episode number two is out. Um, I loved Dan Brown's Da Vinci Code, Angels and Demons. I've read, I think, most of his books. So I was excited to see that. Okay, so the first thing in this lip kit, this is going to be hard to get out, let me tell you, um, is this. This is the reason why I wanted it, I swear to God. The Huda Beauty Lip Contour 2.0. It's in the shade Honey Beige, and it looked like it was a nice brown. And that's the reason why I wanted it, and it is too. Oh, and it's so smooth. Look at that. Oh, I'm excited. And that's, I, I tried to find this at Sephora to buy separately, but it was all sold out. And I thought, well, the price of this alone is almost the same thing as the kit, right? Oh, yeah. This is a nice color. Oh, this is a very nice color. You can hear mom. Mmm, that's a nice color. You can hear mom talking in the background. I like that. That oh, What did I do? I popped out that part of it. Okay. All right. So, yay. This is the reason why I wanted it, honestly. That lip liner. Because, you know, I've been looking everywhere for a brown lip liner. Then you have this Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. It looks like this. And I think I'm going to like this color, too, actually. It's a little squeezy, tubey thingy. Oh, look. And it's got a nice, like, little brown lip balmy kind of a shade let's see I swear oh so it's like a lip balmy tint okay let's try this on and see what this looks like okay so it's a little tint I should have done that with a lipstick stick because I usually don't use these I should have but I didn't so it's a little like I don't know, nude lip balm. I'm sweating. And I have my, my sundress on, but you know what? I'm too hot. Because I don't want anyone to look at the video and think I'm here doing it naked. So I put on my sweater, but I do have my, my little sundress thingy on. Okay. Next thing we have, I just dropped that on the floor. La. So I heard, was it this one here? No, this is the YSL. Ooh, that's a pretty color too. A little YSL mini. That's a nice color. I'm not going to swatch it. Oh, I need glasses. Hold on. I didn't clean these glasses either, everybody. Oh, Lord. I just... Wow, it's amazing how you can see. This is uh, 70. I guess the shade is 70. Rouge Pure Contour. I cannot for the life of me read that. But that's cute. A little YSL um mini lipstick i like that and then we have this one now i think this is the one was it this one i heard clinique black honey 
I heard this lipstick works for every skin tone. And I also heard when people try to get this lipstick, it's sold out all the time. Um, and it works for everybody's skin tone. And it does something crackers. I already got lipstick on. I don't know if it's going to show up. Um, do I have a wipe here? Let's see what it's going to look like on me. But I heard, I read something about this lipstick that a lot of people love it. It works for everybody's skin tone and it comes out like a different color for everybody. Let's see. Okay. She's all right. It's like a tint. I guess it's like a tint and it's going to like kind of match or bring out the color of your lips probably. But I don't I don't actually mind that. I don't mind that. Okay. And then last thing we got in this box which I'm not going to um I know I won't wear this one. It's from NARS and it's the shade Cruella Velvet Matte Lip Pencil. And I can already tell this is not my shade. It's kind of like a ready shade, but it's nice for the Christmas time if you wear red lipsticks during Christmas and stuff like that. That's a nice little lip pencil right here, and it's a matte lip crayon pencil. So I thought that was a good deal, right? Oh, I just dropped the Sunday Friday. Anyway, so Sunday Friday lip tint is supposed to be right here. So I thought that was a great deal. I, I do like this. I like this one and this one, and I do like the Sunday Friday's tint that's on the floor. So I thought that was a good deal. Anyways, um, that's what I was thinking. Tomorrow, if I can't find more advent calendars and stuff like that, or not advent calendars, but I know Look Fantastic, like I said, is coming out with Christmas boxes. I'm hoping to find those spoilers. If I can't find that, either I do, I'll do a Sephora, you know, what's new, what's coming um, in regards to Christmas video. Um, so one of those videos will be coming tomorrow. Either the Sephora video or, you know, um, a Christmas box spoiler video. All right, so now we're going to get on to Ipsy. And this is the September bag. I'm a little bit bummed. I remember telling you guys that. So I, I canceled my Ipsy X for September. I didn't want the box. It was full of skincare. I didn't want it. I canceled it, right? And then after September, a couple weeks ago, I resubscribed for the November box because they had it. You know get the Huda Beauty September Ips or November Ipsy X box and it's gonna be all Huda Beauty stuff so I go in and I say yes anyways around the beginning of September they had I had subscribed but I said I was talking to this person on Ipsy saying um, I want to resubscribe like I, I don't want to be on a wait list for November you know so I, I resubscribed he told me to resubscribe and then they took the funds out of my account right and he's like don't worry about it all the you know September boxes are sold out or August boxes are sold out we'll keep that money in your account for November so you won't get charged for November right so I'm like oh great and then I get this tracking notice yesterday saying my September Ipsy Xbox is being shipped and I'm fighting back and forth with Ipsy I'm showing them the screenshots where they're telling me hey, you won't get September, you're going to get November, and you won't get charged for November because we already have your payment for November. And they're like, sorry, nothing we can do, too bad. But for this one time, um, you can send it back to us as long as you don't open it, right? And I'm like, how can I not open it because it's going to the shipping company, you know, in New York. So anyway, uh, they wouldn't help me out. I'm like, cancel it. It hasn't even left. They said they couldn't cancel it. So... The Ipsy Xbox for August or September, whatever you want to call it, I think it's August, it's, it's on its way. The good thing with the shipping company is they'll take pictures. If I want them to take pictures of what's inside the box, they'll take pictures, right? So I'm going to look at the pictures, and then if I don't like what's inside the box, I'm going to call them up, because I was told today I can do this. I'll call them up and say, hey, listen, they shipped me the wrong box. Can you please do return to sender, which is what Ipsy said they would allow this one time only to do a return to sender. So they're going to send it back to Ipsy and then um, I'll get refunded and then that money will go towards November. So November Xbox is going to be Huda Beauty. Um, so I guess we'll see what's coming. All right. So 
your official fall guide skincare, blah, blah, blah. Work, school, life, I'm assuming that's the theme. It doesn't tell me how much everything is, which is a bummer. And my Ipsy account is on the phone that I'm recording for my Ipsy Plus bag. So I can't tell you how much everything is. So I'm just going to pull this out. Now, I think I used points. I think I redeemed points for these. Um, I think. I'll write it up here and let you know if I did or not. It's the Shauna B. Miami brush set. And I must have because I don't recall like this coming in my box. So I'm like, did I re redeem points? You know, these are probably like 1,200 points maybe. Um, oh, this is a nice brush. I would use that as a blush. It says setting on it. So like a setting, I don't wear powder. So I would use this as a blush. It's got a nice, it's got a nice curve right here, a nice angle. So I would use this as a blush brush. Um, or highlight and then we got another blender brush these kind of feel really cheap honestly but they're not bad like the the bristles aren't bad even though the I'm dropping everything the feeling of it feels cheap right the handles but the bristles aren't bad but this is not a great set I have to say of all the sets of brushes I've gotten from Ipsy I don't think this here is a, a great set anyways I don't think this was a part of my bag, to be honest. I think I probably redeemed points for it. Okay. And then there's this brush right here. So I will use these brushes, but it just feels really cheap to me, to be honest. These feel really cheap. Let me know. Um, did you get these brushes? Did you redeem your points for these? They do feel really cheap to me, not going to lie. And I usually like Shauna B brushes. I think I've had more from her. Didn't we get a brush from her last month? No, that's Jaclyn Hill. I thought we did. Didn't we get some new brushes? Maybe I used it up already. It was white. I thought that was Shauna B. Is it this one? No, that's ColourPop. Morphe. Well, I can be here all day. Uh, it was a fairer brush that I'm talking about. Okay, anyways. Then I bought... So I believe I redeemed points for that, and I bought the Tatcha Cleanser, because this is a fabulous cleanser. If you have dry skin, I love this cleanser. I bought that. That was a $3 add-on. And I bought the NARS Mini um, Toledo Lipstick, and I'm giving this to Mom, because I think I have one just like this. I think I do somewhere. Pretty color. Very pretty color. Mom's seen it. She liked it, so I'm going to give that to Mom. So I grabbed that for three bucks. All right, so what did I get in the bag? So I got this, it's a face scrub. Oh, and this is the bag, by the way, the Ipsy Plus bag for September. Um, I got a face scrub made with repurposed coffee grounds, citrus blend. It's made in the UK. I can't tell what company, what the company is called, UpCircle? Looks like the company is called UpCircle. Okay, so this is what it looks like here. It's a face scrub. This is going to be good for Madison. Coffee face scrub for dry, dehydrated skin. Oh, this would be good for me too. All right, leave on for a few moments, and then rinse with warm water and pat dry. Let's see what it smells like. Oh, and it's got one of those safety seals where you got to do the hook, you know, when you got to like screw it down like that see and you open it all right what do you smell like come on now i don't want to the water is coming out hold on let's shake this up or something it's like this water is bubbling up on top or something ah that's wow okay really hard to get out oh can you imagine going around with that on your face it looks like poo and it smells like coffee interesting but it looks like poo i tell you it really looks like poo don't it it looks like i just pooped on my hand it looks like a bird just pooped on my hand i tell you i've had birds poop birds poop on my hand and on my head before all the time i swear to god if there's a seagull in sight it's shooting out of my head can't say the other word, the S word, 
But I swear, if there's a seagull ahead of me somewhere, it's, it's on my head. Never fails. Always happens. Anybody else have that luck with seagulls? Because that's what happens to me. All right. Um, so this, this they chose for me, Ipsy Plus. Ipsy chooses two items, and you get to choose the other three. So Ipsy chose this for me, the face scrub. And I was like, oh, Ipsy, why are you doing that? And then they also chose, and I think I got an oil last month too, this oil, facial hydration oil. I'm going to have to go back and look. But for some reason, I feel like I got an oil last month. No, I didn't. I got a, I got a moisturizer, didn't I? I got a moisturizer and a leave-in hair conditioner. That's what I got last month. That's what Ipsy chose for me. This month they chose a face oil and the scrub. And I'm like, why are you choosing skincare? You know, so this is from Canalogica. It's a facial hydration oil. It's got cannabis sativa hemp seed oil inside of it. Doesn't smell like anything. So it's a facial oil, which I don't use face oils because I tend to break out from face oils. So I, I keep like one on hand if I happen to burn my face. Um, so I keep that on hand because that's probably the only thing in Vaseline that helps when I burn my face. You know, like when I was using that retinol and I burned my face. But I don't know. I'm like, Ipsy needs to get their act together because last two months, what they have chose for me have been items that I don't wants right so that's a, obviously a zero star or a one star i wish you can get a zero star and the next choice i chose this is the foxy bay is it foxy bay yeah uh daily leave-in hair mask which i really love this hair mask happy to get a full size of it um so that's what i chose you put on damp hair and you leave it on for like i don't know 10 minutes oh you leave it in your hair interesting oh okay so it's like a leave-in conditioner kind of thing you leave it on your hair that's nice and i use this and madison use leave-in she uses um leave-in hair conditioner so i'm happy to have that i chose that next i chose this and this is the real her i am graceful power wear probiotic foundation uh blue light technology and this is in the shade shell beige so i don't know if this is going to work for my skin tone um because it looks rather dark but it might be good for summertime all right so wait oh i hate these ones what the heck is it a pump what okay hold on did i do something wrong i did i had to i bet you it's a pump. it's a pump it's a pump very watery really watery let's see oh okay i don't it's i don't know i don't know no you know i think it'll work now in this in the summertime i think it'll work in the summertime um if i have a a tan i mean i might still be able to get away with it now it looks awfully dark though doesn't it like, it, I think it'll match down here. So, I guess as long as my chest is red and kind of tan, it might match. But, anyway, that's the shade of it. I'm going to give this a try and see what I think of it. Um, but, yeah, I picked that because I'm like, listen, if I ever see a concealer or a foundation from a brand that I don't have, I want to try it. I always want to try it, right? So, yeah, this is real her. Made in Korea. And I think this is supposed to be good for dry skin as well. Shake well, smell a pound amount to the center of your face, and then tap it out. You know, you know what to do. All right, last thing in my bag is this, and again, I chose this. It's like two things of makeup I actually got um, to choose, <laughs> which, you know me, I love makeup. Like, I think there was probably a lipstick or something I could have chose instead of this but I didn't really like it. Whatever it was, if there were any makeup options, it wasn't something that I would use, so I chose this instead. Um, but I did choose this. It was like probably, again, the only thing that made sense for me to choose. Shades by Shan, San Francisco 
Um, it's a bronzer. So this is what it looks like. It's pretty packaging. I like the packaging. Walnut bronzer from the contour palette. All right, you are very beautiful, it says. It's got a little mirror, which is cute. And this is what it looks like here. I don't know if this is quite my shade. It feels nice. Oh, feels nice, swatch is nice. So I'm gonna give that a try. Um, I think I should definitely go in with a light hand because it's, yeah, because I think it can turn really dark. So I'm definitely gonna have to go in with a light hand with that and then build it up to how I want it. But so I got this, this was what I chose. I chose the foundation and I chose the um, hair mask, the leave-in hair mask from Foxy Bay. Ipsy chose an oil for me and they also chose the coffee face scrub. So it's gonna be interesting to see what happens in October, which is X, right? Or November? Oh no, October is plus November is X. So it's gonna be interesting for me to see what they're gonna choose for me in October. Cause if they choose skincare again for me, I'm gonna be like, okay, how many times do I have to give it a one star? How many times do I have to say when I review it, I don't like this? You know, like, come on now, you have makeup there, you know? I want an all makeup box. But if you like skincare, you know, you probably love it, right? Anyway, that's my video. That's my bag. Um, the price of this box is going up in October. It was 25, I think it's going up to 27, 25 US dollars. It's going up to 27 US dollars. So I think I'll probably end up with the shipping pay like $38 now for it come October. So it's like the same price as maybe your premium box from BoxyCharm. Um, and you, like I said, I like the fact that you get to choose at least three items, right? So that's what I got in my box. What do you think? What's your favorite out of the Ipsy? And um, what do you think about this Sephora favorite? You can get this right now. I think it was 48. And don't forget, this is a great deal. If you like a beauty blender, now I know there are cheaper blenders out there that are really soft. ColourPop's got a great one. Um, I don't know, but I know e.l.f. has beauty blenders and wet and wild and stuff like that. I've never tried them, so I don't know how soft they are, but I like a really, really soft beauty blender. Uh, but if you do like beauty blenders, this is a really good deal. Free blenders and two soaps. I thought that was a great deal. Anyways, that's it, everybody. I am off to bowling it's thursday don't forget live tomorrow night at eight o'clock eastern standard time and again on sunday with my mom at eight o'clock eastern standard time have a great day Mwah. bye